Auto Savage, what's the damn deal? Fuck, I don't know what the hell going on. Man, I've been hearing about a, a lot about you over these last, I'm gonna say like two, three months. Yeah. Straight up. <clears throat> so, um, I did some research on you. You did a, a little time in jail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, let's take it all the way, you know, from your childhood. Um, where exactly in Atlanta are you from? Uh, I'm from Camerton Road, Zone 4. Uh, uh, Addison Court. That's like Southwest Atlanta. Okay. Now, growing up, like, did you live in, like, a rough household, same, uh, you know, uh, mom and dad, single parent? Like, how was it growing up in, in your household? Uh, when I was younger, like, probably from, like, one to, like, seven, I stayed off of uh, Old Decent Highway in Clint County. So my life kind of changed, went from, from, like, riches to rags. Because, like, my mama got, you know what I'm saying? My daddy left my mama, so... He left her for a white girl, and then that drove my mama to end up smoking. My mama was on dope, wow. so we ended up moving over that way on Kelton. Mm -hmm. And she from like 10 to... So wait, at one point in time, we was a big happy family. You, your mom, yeah. and dad. It was me, my mom, my brother, I got a brother, and my brother's dad. Like my dad, I don't, I don't know my dad now, but back then I didn't know my dad. Okay. Like my brother's dad took care of me. From two to like, I was probably like 12 or something, like 13. All right. Okay, so 10 years old, uh, speak on that. You said 10 years old. Yeah, 10 years old, shit, I was, uh, you know, I was uh, in, in the hood because shit, like, my, like I said, my mom was on dope. Yeah. So, like, shit, a nigga was out there, a nigga was running the streets. Right. Nigga used to, used to watch for the dope dealers, used to watch, like, watch for the police and shit. They used to pay me like five dollars. Go to the store. You know what I'm saying? I used to make money like that. Yeah. And um, you know, basically, I uh, a nigga, one of the the OGs from my hood. You know what I'm saying? He he kind of like took me up under his wing, and got them made me his godson. And he like filled in. You know what I'm saying? And did shit for me before I, like took care of me, bought me joints and shit like that. Sure. You know what I'm saying? So when, when your mom started doing drugs, how did that affect you? Oh shit, it affected me hard because shit, it was like, you go to school and you know what I'm saying? Like for the parent day shit at school, your partner and your friends or something at school, mama and shit coming to school. Shit, mm -hmm. my mama wasn't coming. I knew my mama wasn't coming. I really didn't want my mama to come. Yeah. Cause I was really ashamed of my mom, you know what I'm saying? Cause she was on dope. So I really like that shit kinda like tormented me a little bit when I was young, you feel me? Cause I ain't really had nobody. Right. Like all my life I grew up with nobody but me and my mom and my brother. Right. You know what I'm saying? I ain't really had nobody. Like so when I meet people I, I, I automatically if you cool I click with you, you feel me? And I fuck with people different from other people, like, you know what I'm saying? Um, it just cause I ain't really had nobody when I came up. Right. I ain't had nobody to talk to. I ain't had no. I got big brothers, but they went. They not got the same. You know what I'm saying? We ain't got the same mom and daddy. So I went never there with them. Cause I ain't want to come to school. Cause like shit, you know she was on drugs. So I knew everybody was gonna pick on me and shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But like you know what I'm saying? That shit kind of you know when I was young, I just really just used to. I don't know, man. I ain't really had nobody to talk to in there. You know what I'm saying? I learned from the OGs in the hood, man, like how to, how to, you know what I'm saying, get money and how to, I learned from my mama too, you know what I'm saying, how to hustle and, and, and get money. But basically, like, at a young age, like, how I got in the game is, you know, watching out for the old adult, you know what I'm saying, dope boy. Yeah. They like, hey, look, man, we gonna give you $20, man. You just what, make sure you hear 12, man. <clears throat> yeah, 12. Or, I'm gonna pay you $10 to walk to the store, go get some dice, we finna shoot dice. You know what I'm saying? They might give me a five or a 10, you know what I'm saying? Or it might be 10, 20 niggas out there. I might get a dollar from everybody, you feel me? Right. And be up for 20, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's how I was hustling when I was young. But, you know, it, it was hard for me. Like I said, I went from riches to rats, goddamn. Yeah. Never heard a story like that, you know what I'm saying? We went from staying in, 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 in $100,000 houses and, Going to the motherfucking projects, we stand in 
apartment cost 550, roaches and shit, you feel me? Yeah. Like. How was it like, uh, when you going to school, how did it affect you in school? Like, would you go to class? Oh, I scared you out going to school every day. Like, I used to love to go to school, cause me, like, I'm smart as hell, you know what I'm saying? So I wanted to go to school because I liked to learn. I wasn't never no dumb ass nigga that just didn't want to learn, man. <clears throat> or I wasn't never no nigga that was just in school was just bad as hell again. Yeah. It spelled. Nah. That when that when I didn't start doing stupid shit till I got to high school. Sure. But from elementary to middle, shit, I was going to school just, you know, having fun. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I had a god daddy from my hood, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to my, you know what I'm saying, God daddy. Name Lou Ross, you know what I'm saying? He was a big time dope dealer around that time, you feel me? And he had kids, bro. He probably had like seven, eight kids already, but you know what I'm saying? He took me in and and made sure I was straight. You know what I'm saying? I had all the joints, you know what I'm saying? I had Tommy Hill Finger, Polo, all that all that good shit. He made sure I had it through my whole middle school. From sixth grade to eighth grade. Well, now was you me? rapping in high school and middle school this time? Or nah, you was in the streets? I was in the street, bro. I, I just, I only been rapping for eight months, man. Crazy. I never thought I could be right here right now doing this. That's crazy. It never came in my head that I was going to be a rapper. Did you graduate on time? No, nah, I didn't graduate. I got I got a spell from Thera High School. That's the high school I went to. Okay, for what? Uh, We got into a fight, you know what I'm saying? Back in the day, that when it used to be like hood shit. In the hood I'm from, it, it's considered mm -hmm. as like, Cam I'm from Camerton Road, you know what I'm saying? But half of Camerton Road is Ben Hill, and the other half of Camerton Road will be considered as Oakland City. Okay. You know what I'm saying? The part of Camerton Road where I'm from is well, Oakland City part, you feel yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm from Allison Court, we call that the Magnolia right now. But back then when we were going to school, if you from Addison, you could be from goddamn motherfucking West Mud, that's a street in Oakland City. Gray Mud, you could be from Stan, Phoenician. When you went to Thayer High School, you was from Kempton Road, Oakland City, you feel me? Right. And when you go across the, on the other side, you went Ben Hill. But the reason why I got kicked out of school, because we got into it with the niggas from Ben Hill. We got in a big ass fight at the school and shit. And then my first year up there, you feel me? Mm -hmm. And I had already got it. I already had got caught at the middle school right. with a gun. I didn't get caught with a gun, but I almost got caught with a gun. Like my last year in eighth grade, some niggas had um, slick told them, you know what I'm saying? Right. Cause I used to, in eighth grade, I was thinking I was going to school, like skipping school then, smoking weed, mm -hmm. shooting dice, just doing a little shit like young niggas do. And I had brought a gun to school. Nigga told them, but goddamn, they called my name over the intercom and shit. Like him, so they said, come so you had the gun on you when you yeah, know. I jumped out the window. You jumped out the window. Yeah, the clear room. The police came in. Fat they find the gun on you. Or fat no? nigga, now you, Mr. Marsh used to work at us at our school. No, I jumped out the window, like the classroom window. We was on the second floor. Jumped out that motherfucker. The folk came in there cause they called my name. When they called my name, they said report to the um the main office. Gonna search you. No, nah, I'm like, what the hell they calling me to the main office for? And I ain't gonna lie, I was geeked up on the weed cause they had smoke. You know what I'm saying? And got there, I was geeked up, so them folk called my name. And got there, I jumped up out the window, got there, got there long cause it wasn't that high. I just jumped up out the motherfucker, took out running. Insurance started following me. And I jumped on the train cause the train was like right up the street. Yeah. Oak City train station, jumped on the train, rode that motherfucker to, um, to uh, Five Points. Went up, went downstairs, and got on the. No, nah, I went upstairs and got on the, on the um, east and westbound, and I went to uh, Martin Luther King, cause I stayed in Chapel Ford and I was Simpson, so I was going to high school on Kempton, but I stayed on Simpson Road. Yeah. So did they ever charge you for the gun, or because they didn't physically find it on you? Uh uh. One of them bitch ass niggas in the school had unseen me, cause. Niggas just be in those and shit, you feel me? And fucked around, we was in the bathroom, and I ain't gonna show them a little partner. Like, yeah, I just bought a little derringer. You know what I'm saying? It was a little derringer, I showed them a little partner. And you know how niggas be walking in the bathroom, we was in there and I had the gun out, like right by the door, and like, not right by the door, cause you come in the bathroom, you gotta turn, and then shit in there. So when he came in the bathroom, I had the gun out, like I'm talking to him, 
I'm showing him the gun, like, yo, ooh, ooh. showing the gun, nigga walk in there. So when we look back, we see him, but I cuffed it. It was silver though, but I know he seen it. Right, right, right. So the nigga went and told him, right, and okay. they ended up kicking me out. But it was like close to the end of the year, so they sent me to uh, some school. I had went to Corn uh, Middle School over there by Boulevard. Mm -hmm. I had to do uh, I had to do some school, but I ended up going, graduating, going to mid grade. Went to Thera. She got in the fight ninth grade year. She I went in in school probably like six months, and I ended up getting into a big ass fight with them folk, and they kicked me out of school. They were like, so you never went back once you got kicked out? Yeah, nah, I went to the trap. So have you ever worked a nine to five before? Never. You see these hands? Never. I never punch no clock. Is that because like you just you it, like and what's the reasons for that? Like is that because you just never the reason for that? Cause like I was forced to be in the do the street shit. I feel like cause my mom was on drugs, mm -hmm. and I ain't had no no guidance, nobody to tell me what to do. You know what I'm saying? My life was always. That's why my name Lotto. Cause like my life, I always it's just been a gamble with shit. I don't never know what might happen. I could wake up tomorrow and be a man, you know. You feel me? Shit, I could wake up tomorrow and lose it all. You know what I'm saying? So it's like every day, I'm it's a gamble with me. You know what I'm saying? Life is a gamble. You know what I'm saying? It's the reason why they say that. Cause you never know what you're gonna get for real when you wake up. You never know what might happen in that day. You don't know what. So, I got so to what, what, what ways were you getting money? Shit, I was robbing. Selling dope, breaking in houses, stealing cars, yeah. this little petty shit. You know, I started out small time first, mm -hmm. stealing, you know what I'm saying? And went from stealing to goddamn robbing. Because yeah. we ended up kicking in doors and shit. Then stealing went and broke burgers. Yeah. Went from stealing cars to breaking in houses, from breaking in houses to robbing. And then from robbing to goddamn just thugging. Like, just like thinking, like flexing. So did you ever get caught doing any of that? Hell yeah, I got a rap sheet, man. I've been in prison, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, I, my, man, my, I've been from, from 17 to now, I've only been out like a year and a half. I mean, I've been in prison, like, so I, I've been down, bro, you know what I'm saying? I was doing shit, you know what I'm saying? I had a lot of shit going on, you know what I'm saying? When I was 17, I caught my first shot. Possession of firearm, mm -hmm. uh, possession with the intent to distribute, possession during the commission of a crime, whatever the hell that is, possession of firearm in the age of 21, all type of shit. That was my first charges. You know what I'm saying? How, how, uh, as far as you know, do, going to jail, how much time did you do um, in all together? Yeah. Shit, I did. Probably like seven years. Seven years? Yeah, about seven hours. Cause I did like two years, and one time I got out, stayed out like six months, yeah. and went back and did the five. Crazy. Yeah. So you got out of jail um, this last time. We gonna uh, speed it up. You got yeah. out of jail last time, and what made you? Do what made you just wanna you know get out the streets and wanna be a rapper? Um. Actually, like when I got out this time, it was just like on some shit like. I was really heading back in that motherfucker, to be honest with you. I ain't even gonna lie. Cause it's like that chain gang shit just made me more angry. You know what I'm saying? It made me wanna get out and be like, fuck everybody who ain't did shit for me. Even though they don't owe me shit, you feel me? Cause I put myself in there. But when you be in jail, you just be thinking about a lot of shit. So when I got out, I really on some black youngster shit, like fuck everybody type shit. I'ma do this, I'ma do that, I'ma slide this nigga, I'ma slide that nigga. I don't give a damn, fuck that, they, they ain't do shit for me. Fuck them, you know what I'm saying? But, like, I was on the fuck shit when I got out. Um, I think when I when I joined, when I when I started just taking my beliefs serious, mm -hmm. that's what, and, and 21, you know what I'm saying, his whole situation made me change my situation because like I was doing, you know what I'm saying, the hype man shit for him and just being up with him and, and helping him with his situation like so that's what kinda got me out the street. We still was in the streets while we was doing that shit. We was out there thinking, doing our thing. You know what I'm saying? But it's like we kinda stayed out of the way too at the same time. Like we was sliding doing shit, but we was staying out of the way at the same time because our name went on the scene, we went you know what I'm saying? 
Yeah. And we did do something nobody know, you feel me? So it's like most of the time we was just, you know, in the studio working. We ain't doing that shit. We on the road promoting. If we ain't doing that shit, we at the studio working. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If we ain't doing that, we on the air kicking it. You know what I'm saying? It might be a hundred bloods out there. We out there just kicking shit in the hood, you feel me? Just just normal shit, you know what I'm saying? When we nigga once recording, a nigga was goddamn in the hood on the app or might be on Boulevard or, you know, just doing something, you know what I'm saying?